Thank you for joining us on Notes for the Field for this week. You might not be able to recognize me today with my mask on, but I'm Peg Curry, the Chief Operating Officer for Providence Healthcare. We initiated Notes from the Field last week because I felt it was important to showcase the innovative ideas that our frontline caregivers are implementing all across our ministries in dealing with some of the barriers that this COVID-19 crisis has presented us with. Like many hospitals and clinics, we too here at Providence Healthcare implemented visitor restrictions a few weeks ago with the intention of aligning with the CDC recommendations and reducing the spread of COVID-19 in our facilities and in our communities. While we have these in place, however, many of our caregivers have worked very hard to create those precious moments in an ongoing way using technology. Today's story comes from Labor and Delivery at Sacred Heart Medical Center, nurse Stephanie Andre, and she will describe for you how they have adapted the visitor restriction policy to still create that precious moment for families at the birth of their child. My name is Stephanie and I am a labor and delivery nurse at uh, Providence Sacred Heart. Ours is a very different unit because it's a very happy, um, wonderful occasion. So it's not, we get, we get sick patients obviously, but uh, these are normal women having babies. And so um, it is a, a process that involves family members. And so this progressive, eliminating visitors um, down to a partner, a husband, or um, support person, one, that's all they get, um, has been a difficult transition, but everyone seems to understand for the safety of everyone, including their baby and um, the mama. As a unit, it's been, um, we wanna be supportive, but understanding that this isn't how they plan this and so um, trying to help them uh, include family members that um, aren't able to be there and so we've had a lot of that and in the deliveries I've had in the last three weeks a lot of FaceTiming goes on and celebration in that way. I come from a large family so I'm probably one of the few nurses that really embraces that family process uh, but it can be a little bit, make our jobs harder, um, walking around people or asking them to maybe be quiet if the mama needs a little rest. I have a good way of kind of gently um, telling them, remember this is, this is about the mama and her baby and her husband or partner. And so I guess have reverence for how they want this process to go. I think birth is a sacred process and so uh, I have an idea of how I like it for me, but that doesn't mean that other people do. So whatever their uh, wishes are, that's what I personally like to do. And I forget about all that's going on, which isn't so easy to do these days, but um, if I'm in with my patient and working with a family, then um, it just kind of fades. Regardless of what's going on in the world, this is still a new life that's coming and um, to be celebrated. It may not be as you hoped or anticipated, but it's still something to be celebrated and you can tell this little one stories when they're older and tell them that um, you still got to be part of a beautiful thing and that's birth. I am so thankful that we have compassionate and intelligent caregivers who are adapting these situations to align with our Providence mission and our promise to know me, care for me, and ease my way. I'd like to continue to invite all of you to send me your ideas. I got many last week and I so appreciate it. You'll be hearing soon from Stevens County, Holy Family, and our clinics as well as St. Luke's Rehab for future stories. I wanna wish you a blessed Holy Week and a happy Easter. Thank you for watching.